Hi, everyone. <laughs> Here's my son, Ken. Ken, what are you going to do? I'm going to show everybody this problem and teach everybody how to do it. Okay. Let's do it. Find the range of values of the constant k at which the quadratic equation x squared minus kx plus k plus 3 is equal to 0, which have, will have two different solutions that are greater than negative 3. Well, first, we know, first, f of negative 3, so f of negative 3 equals... Well, x equal to negative 3, y equals 9 plus 3k plus k plus 3, which is 12 plus 4k, which is greater than 0. And then we could take out 4 from both sides, so that means that... 3 plus k is greater than 0. That means that k is greater than negative 3. Now we are going on to the discriminant. And we can't do d over 4 because the because the const because the coefficient of x is not divisible by 2. Very good. So, b squared minus 4ac, which is k squared minus 4k minus 12, and now that's greater than 0, and now I think we could factor it, or maybe not. Well, what times 12 equals 4? Um, negative 6 and 2, or negative 4. So k minus 6, k plus 2, times k plus 2, which is greater than 0, equals, well, if the polynomial is positive and the discriminant is positive, then x is less than the smallest root, x is less than negative 2, and x is greater than 6. So now we've got two points, actually three of them, k is greater than negative 3, k is less than negative 2, k is greater than 6. We just need one more from the axis of symmetry. And we all know that the axis of symmetry is negative b over 2a. So the negative b over 2a, k over 2 is greater than 0, which is just k is greater than 0, because we times everything by 2, we get rid of the denominator, and anything times 2 is still 0. Now we can draw the graph. <coughs> now, I'm just going to plot 0 so I know where 0 is. Now, k is greater than negative 3, negative 3, and it goes that way. And now, I'm going to plot k is greater than 0, and I've already plotted that, but it needs to be an op open circle. Now, it's intersecting at that line. But we need three lines parallel to each other, or crossing. And then k is less than negative 2, negative 2, and it goes that way. And then k is greater than 6, 6. And now we saw that there's three lines right there, and they're all greater than 6. So now k is greater than 6, and now we are done with the problem. Excellent. Is that correct? Oh, um, uh, you got part of it right. Let's see what happened. K is...
is less than negative 2, k is greater than negative 3. Looks like you plotted it all correctly. That's not correct. K is greater than negative, I mean, K is less than negative 2. Um, K is greater than 6. K is greater than 6. And then, negative 2 is less than K. Oh, uh, K is greater than negative 6? Is that what? No, K is greater than 6. Yeah, but it says K is greater than negative 6 over there. Yeah. Well, it should work, but this isn't the final one. Yeah, that's the final answer. Hmm, let's see. Um, well, maybe I just um, did it wrong. Well, let's see. Discriminant? Maybe I just um, thought it wrong. Let's see. K squared minus 4K Four. minus 3. Oh, minus 12. You got that right. Uh, that's positive. Negative K minus 6, K plus 2. That's correct. Maybe zero must moved over here, and then it could go right here, and then there would be three lines crossing over here. It seems well, like you got everything right. Negative two is supposed to go that way. Let me see no. this. Okay, so this is the answer key. Let's see. So K is um, ah. <laughs> Here's the mistake. Uh, what the axis of symmetry? The axis of symmetry is negative over two. Yes, and where where what do we know about it? Um, that. Oh, it's negative. Well, less than zero. I mean, what what do we uh, what do we know about the axis of symmetry? Where is it? It's to the right of negative three. Yes. Oh, greater than negative three. That's right. That's right. Now I don't know where the axis of symmetry is. It was you did the k is greater than zero was the. Uh, so what's the axis of symmetry? Now the axis of symmetry. Is negative b over two a, which I've already figured out, but I forgot it. Is just k over two. Mm -hmm. Then k over two is greater than negative three, and then k is greater than negative six. Mhm. Mm That's right. So now k is greater than negative six. Mm -hmm. So negative six is why. Well, we are erasing the zero. Good. And negative 6 is way out from negative 3 because it's a lower number. Mm -hmm. Because in negative, you go backwards. Mm -hmm. Negative 6 is like right here. Okay. And it goes that way. I knew it because I can't go anymore. Now, it's just 6 right here. Mm -hmm. And right here. Mm hmm. So wait here and here. Mm -hmm. So here is in between um, negative six. Actually, it's after negative three. So k is greater than negative three. Okay, I need. E. And it intersects right here. Okay, write it all down. Well, it's to the, oh, to the left of negative 3. What, Daddy? Um, okay. It's actually to the right of negative 3 because you can do, because you count backwards on negatives. Oh, no, it's, it's in the middle of negative 3 and negative 2. Mm -hmm. So that means that... It's to the left of negative 2 and to the right of negative 3, which means that negative 3 is less than k, is less than negative 2. And it intersects over here, which is k is greater than 6. Perfect. Good job, Ken. Thank you.